Hey folks, it's Teresa from Stringfield Ridge Farm. Today, we're gonna make fire cider. I'm gonna show you how I make it because I just use what I have. Hey folks, it's Teresa from Stringfield Ridge Farm. Today, we are going to make some much needed fire cider. It's that time of year. Um, I just, I didn't realize I was completely out of fire cider until I started getting a little nasally uh, this morning. And I thought, uh, what do I need? Oh, I need some elderberry and fire cider. And I went and got me a, a good dose of elderberry syrup. And uh, I'm gonna drink some goldenrod tea. And uh, so, looked for the fire cider and I have none. So it's time to make fire cider. So uh, I'm gonna show you what all I've got. Here's the thing, y'all. Use what you have. You don't have to have everything that a fire cider recipe calls for. Use what you have. I don't have everything. Uh, and some things I do have, like horseradish, I have in a jar. That's probably not the best way. The best way would be to have fresh that you could cut up and put in here, but I don't have any, and I'm not gonna go buy any um, right this minute to get in there. Uh, I don't like a lot of horseradish in mine anyway, because it's hot, and I don't like my fire cider very hot. Uh, so I'm gonna use a little bitty bit of this jarred horseradish that's never been opened. Um, also, a good reason to have fire cider is that uh, fire cider can help with blood pressure, blood sugar levels. It's anti-inflammatory, so it can help with your arthritis or whatever. And it's also good for weight loss. So we really should keep fire cider all year long and take it. Um, but, uh, but, I, but I don't, and uh, I really should. Uh, probably, maybe if I make enough of it, I will. Uh, I'm gonna show you what I'm starting with, and I will probably get more ingredients and make some more right away so that I can um, uh, have it and make sure I don't run out. Uh, fire cider is also good for gut health, which is really important for all of us all the time. <clears throat> so it is, uh, um, it uh, helps with digest digestion and good for gut health. And it's, um, um, you know, loaded with things that are good for all of that. Uh, so it's good to have around, keep it all the time. It does not have to be refrigerated, but I like it best refrigerated. I can take it better cold. Um, and I usually put it in a drink. I can't take the shot, it's kind of hard to do. If you can take the shot, that's great. But if you can't, you can dump it in some water or juice or something and get it down. And, uh, and of course, honey always helps. <laughs> honey helps get everything down, so don't forget the honey. So first off, I'm starting with a big old jar. Now you can use any jar you have. I usually make this in a bigger jar but my big jar is being used right now for um, jewelweed uh, oil that I will use to make my jewelweed soaps and salves that we sell on our Etsy store. So this is the jar I can find. If all you have is a mason jar, that's fine too. Just make a, a smaller amount in a mason jar if that's all you have. I happen to have this big old jar I can use. So that's what we're gonna start in today. So then the horseradish. I talked about the horseradish. This is not the best way to do the horseradish. <clears throat> this is just what I have right now. Uh, it would be best to get a, a piece of horseradish, comes in like a thing like the ginger, and uh, cut that up and have fresh horseradish in there. But <clears throat> I'm only gonna use a tiny amount. So, um, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of this that I had in the refrigerator that's never been opened because I really don't like horseradish. <laughs> so we're gonna use that. And that is, horseradish is, um, is very antibacterial and good for gut health. And uh, so it, um, it's really good to have in there. 
uh, horseradish helps clear up mucus and uh, stuff like that. So it's really good for some horseradish in there, but I don't like it. So we're not using much of that. Uh, of course, we'll move on to the ginger. Um, I have this ginger because I bought a couple of big knots of this and uh, planted a little bit and saved the rest of this. So I'm gonna have plenty of ginger in there. I probably won't use this whole thing. I'll probably use about half of this and save the other half for uh, the next batch that I'm gonna start uh, right away. Uh, did get that at Walmart. So uh, anyway, um, of course we all know ginger is good for just a multitude of things. Ginger is good for everything just about. Um, I don't even know if I can uh, list everything because it's good for so many things. Uh, ginger is good for uh, the same things I already mentioned, just colds and uh, blood sugar and blood pressure and anti-inflammatory and weight loss and um, good for gut health and uh, just everything. And very uh, antibacterial, anti-fungal, um, anti-just -every, uh, everything. Ginger, what's ginger not good for? Let's put it that way. <laughs> How about that? Okay, now time. Uh, I have just a little bit of time. This is all the time I have fresh. I have some dried I could put in here and I may do that, but I had this little bit of ginger that, or uh, time that I was able to get off of my plant. My plant is about dead and this is just a little bit of, gin of uh, time that I was able to get off of there. So I'm gonna put that in there. Uh, time is good for uh, also a multitude of things, but time is really good. A lot of people don't realize you think of time as culinary, but time is really good for colds and flus. And uh, we, don't, we don't often think of that so um, that way. Uh, so uh, lemon, citrus, of course, for the vitamin C. You could use some orange also, or even maybe lime, but I don't have either one of those. I have one lemon. So we are gonna slice up one lemon and put in there. And that, of course, is good for lots of things and very vitamin C. Lots of vitamin C that we can get in there and citrus is good for uh, decongestion and stuff. So uh, let's see, what's next? Cinnamon, I have the uh, Ceylon cinnamon. That's the best one to get for uh, medicinal properties is the Ceylon cinnamon. And that's good for blood pressure and blood sugar and anti-inflammatory. And so we're gonna put just a little bit of that in there also. Uh, garlic, you need garlic in this recipe. Garlic is sort of like ginger. It's good for everything. What is garlic not good for would be the question. So I do have some um, garlic honey. I may put a little bit of that in there, but I've also got this uh, garlic um, um, tincture that I got in a, uh, a set that I got of Dr. Christopher's. Dr. Christopher is a really good um, line to get your tinctures and, and salves and things from. And uh, uh, other than other than my Etsy store, <laughs> our Etsy store is Stringfield Ridge, and we have some tinctures and things. We don't have garlic. Um, this is a super garlic, and so it's really really strong. So just a little bit of that in there, and then I may use some of the garlic honey I've got made too. And ginger is just, I mean, uh, garlic is just good for everything. I think I'm probably gonna call everything here ginger, it sounds like. But garlic is good for just everything, just uh, colds, flus, decongestion, blood sugar, anti-inflammatory, weight loss, blood pressure, digestion, gut health, antibacterial, antibiotic, all of that everything. So, moving on. I do have some uh, cayenne pepper. This is my fresh um, cayenne pepper that I grew that I have in this jar. I put cayenne pepper in my uh, morning pills that I take. I take a pill that I made myself that has a lot of stuff in it for blood pressure, and uh, I use uh, cayenne pepper in that. Uh, I don't like the heat in my fire cider, so I'm only gonna use a very little bitty sprinkle of that. But uh, cayenne pepper is good for 
Same things. What is it not good for? It's uh, very anti-inflammatory, uh, good for colds and flus and just all the things. Blood pressure, everything. All of this stuff is so good. It's hard to, to say what it's good for. It'd be easier to say what they're not good for. Uh, so, can't forget the elderberry. Elderberry is always good for colds and flus. And uh, I have some dried elderberry here that I will put in. I also have some elderberry tincture. So, to get this rolling along, I will probably go ahead and put a little elderberry tincture in here. Uh, just so that it's moving on along because it would take a while for these dried elderberries to um, get uh, dissolved up in there. So anyway, dried elderberries. Always good to have. I make elderberry tea a lot uh, when I have a cold or something. I'll make elderberry tea along with maybe mullein and uh, some of these other things. And uh, so uh, ginger and turmeric and elderberry and mullein for a good cold flu season tea. <clears throat> now, I have these peppers. These are not hot peppers. These are the little red bell peppers. Um, I think they call them snack peppers or something. I have a bag that's got the snack peppers in them. These are not hot, but they still have a lot of benefits. Uh, especially the red. If you get the red bell peppers, the red is especially good with, uh, loaded with, um, you know, antioxidants and things. So, since I don't have hot peppers, um, well, besides what I mentioned here, um, I'm going to put some of this in there. I've never tried that before, but I'm going to chop up some of that in there. Uh, so, that's all I have here. Um, I may... I've got to go out to the store tomorrow. I may get some other ingredients, uh, maybe turmeric. Uh, I definitely need some turmeric in here. I do have a turmeric ginger tincture that I made uh, last year. So I could put just a little bit of that in there. And you know, that's probably plenty. And then you, of course, use your apple cider vinegar to finish it off. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to go find more time. That's definitely not enough time. Uh, some people put rosemary in here. I don't have any rosemary, uh, so I'm not going to be able to do that. So, we'll have to go find some more time to put in here. Maybe parsley. I have plenty of parsley, and parsley is good for a lot of things, too. Actually, por parsley is good for um, allergies. And a lot of people don't know that or think about that, but parsley is good for allergies and uh, sinus maybe. So, uh, and it's uh, anti-inflammatory and helps with blood pressure. Uh, really good for blood pressure. I use parsley in my uh, blood pressure pill also. So, uh, I will go get some parsley. I've got a lot of that. Um, I'll go get that right now. Okay, so I did go grab some parsley. It is looking a little wilty, and that is because it is hot outside, and that is not the best time to pick your herbs. Um, it's best to pick your herbs early in the morning before it gets hot, uh, but you got to do what you got to do. So, I went and got this wilted parsley. <laughs> it's actually, it's in a pot on my front porch, and it, the pot probably needs watering. But anyway, we're going to chop it up and put it in here. So, uh, I'll at least have some thyme and parsley. And I'll go get some of that dried, dried thyme and throw in here. Um, anyway, so we're going to start on our ingredients here. Um, I'm just going to throw that thyme on in there. And then I'm going to chop this uh, parsley up a little bit. <clears throat> so, we will get out the cutting board here and go ahead and start... Throwing this together, there's a few little sprigs of parse of a uh, time down there. We don't want to miss a, a time. <laughs> we don't want to miss a time. So I'm just going to chop this up a little bit. I'm not going to chop it up too little because I don't want little tiny pieces floating in there to have to strain off. Especially since I'm probably going to go ahead and start using it before it's completely done. So there you go. I'm just gonna get all that in there. Uh-oh. I dropped some of that too. 
I'll make a mess before it's over. Anyway, so you're just gonna cut all this up and put in there. Um, I'm gonna wash this lemon good because I do want the peel and all. So I'm gonna wash that up real good and just cut the whole thing in there. All right, we're gonna cut off those ends and just slice the rest of it in there, peel and all. There we go. That simple. Let's see, we'll get these peppers. Chop them up a little bit. I'm not making them too small because, like I said, I don't want little tiny pieces to um, drain off, but you do want it chopped up enough that it gets all the juices up in there in it, right? So, oh, that's looking pretty. Look how pretty that's looking. Anyway, <laughs> when I get everything in there, it might not be that pretty. Um, so this is the first time I've used these red peppers. They really do make it pretty. I don't know how great they'll make it, but they do make it pretty. All right, and then we gotta get some of this. Let's go ahead and cut that in half. I think I want this bigger half. Get that sticker off of there. And I'm just gonna slice a little bit of this outside off, barely peel that off. And I think um, if your ginger is getting old, this is not, this is good, but sometimes you get a hold of a ginger that maybe has been in your refrigerator and it's getting a little old and got some tough pieces. You could cut those off, but you don't have to. So, uh, for this, you don't have to, you wouldn't want to put that in food, but for this, you wouldn't have to, uh, you could use those harder pieces if you needed to, if that's all you had. Use what you got. That's my main, main thing here is use what you got. It don't have to be the exact recipe that someone else has. The main thing is getting it done. Okay, that's all the chopping I gotta do. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. Get over here with this. I'm gonna put some cinnamon, just a dash. A cinnamon stick would be great, but I actually don't want to, um, I don't want to use anything that's gonna be, take it, you know, take it too much longer to, I never opened this. Oh, that's strong. This stuff is really strong. This is to knock you out with. It's super garlic. And man, that's probably enough. I'm going to get some of that garlic honey in here too, so I don't need more than that. And then, if I can... I need something to keep from. Ooh. I don't want much of this. That is probably all I want. That was just a smidgen. A smidgen is all I want of that. I might put a few just because, but I will definitely go get. I don't want to waste these because I want this to be done quick. So I'm gonna go get the tinctures out now. That's everything except for the tinctures I mentioned. So I will go get those and get those in here. All right, here's what I've got. I've got some ginger turmeric uh, tincture that I made about a year ago. I'm gonna put some of that in there. And that's got my turmeric. I've already got the ginger in here, but I didn't have the turmeric. So we're gonna put mm, about 
five dropper fulls of that, so I've got plenty of turmeric in there. I've got elderberry <clears throat> uh, tincture. This is some elderberry tincture I made. Um, mm, what does it say? 822, two years ago. And it's still fine if I can get it open. And that'll be all of that, so I'm going to put that whole thing in there. Mm, smells good. And then I've got some um, um, garlic honey. I'm going to put this garlic honey in there. I just have a little bit left of that. So I'm going to go ahead and put that whole thing in there too. And now that's got some honey in it, which is good. I don't like to put my honey on in there right now. I think you can, but I always wait until it's done and then add some honey, or as I take it, add my honey then. So uh, anyway, that's just what I do. Don't know if that's better or worse, or <laughs> but that's what I do. So I'm gonna wash my hands. I got some of that honey on my hands, y'all. Yeah. Got garlic honey, I guess, on my hands. Let's wash up. All right, that's it. That's all we're putting in here. And um, I'm going to fill the rest up with this. And as long as it covers all your ingredients, oh, that's going to work nicely. Oh, wow. I think it's going to be perfectly to the top there. Ah, couldn't have judged that any better. So, <laughs> that was great. I'm also going to stir this a little. Get that stirred up some. And you could definitely add more to that. That is not a whole ton in there. Um, when I go to the store tomorrow, I may get, I don't know, something else. Orange, lime. Orange would be great. Um, might get a hot pepper and put a little in here, but I really don't want this hot. I could get a sprig of rosemary because I don't have any rosemary growing. So I could get a sprig of rosemary or uh, and some orange and put some more stuff in here. I think it's fine like it is. Actually, this is probably plenty. In a couple of weeks, I may go ahead and start taking a shot of this just a little bit at a time but then I'll give it about four weeks. I'll strain it off and uh, put it probably in a mason jar. If it'll hold it, probably won't hold it. A um, couple of mason jars then, whatever. Or I could leave it in this, but I probably won't because I might need this to do uh, other um, uh, stuff like my jewelweed um, like my jewelweed oil that I've got going for soaps and stuff like that. I use these big jars. So anyway, there you go. I've got uh, everything in there. I think, I think I have enough garlic. I might buy a couple of cloves of garlic. I'm completely out of garlic except for the jar kind like that. So when I go to the store tomorrow, I could buy a couple of cloves of garlic and get in there. I don't have any more fresh garlic. I've used it all. Uh, onion, onion, I forgot onion, y'all. I need, I definitely need to buy some onion tomorrow and get in here. Onion is, is uh, a, a very good thing to have in here. Hey, y'all, I just got a quick update. I did go to the store and get some uh, more ingredients. All I got was a uh, red onion and uh, some real cloves of garlic. And um, that's all I got. I didn't get rosemary. I started to get a few sprigs of rosemary that they have in the, uh, you know, the produce section. But then I remembered Lee hates rosemary and he can always de detect it. So I thought, no, if I get rosemary, he's not going to take any of this and he may need to take it later on also. So I got, um, I'm going to put in three little cloves of garlic. And I got a red onion because red onions have um, a compound in them that uh, makes them really good for uh, diabetic and certain types of cancer. Any onion will do. 
any onion will do. Use what you have, but since I was buying it, I got the red onion because they have some added benefits for the red onion that the yellow and white don't have. I prefer to eat a white onion, uh, a sweet, a sweet onion. And uh, usually I try to look for Vidalia if I'm gonna eat it. But for this, for medicinal purposes, um, I got the red onion. Let's see if I can turn this down without turning it off. And then my garlic. So here we go. I'm just gonna slide a little bit of this in here on top of what I've got and put the rest in the refrigerator to use in something else later. So, let's get that in there. And hoping this doesn't run over, spill over. And then with the garlic, I'm just gonna peel those cloves and probably cut them in half. That's probably fine. I'm just cutting those three cloves in half and sticking them back in there and doing the same thing you've already seen me do. So uh, that's, that's just an update that I did go get a few more ingredients that I didn't have and uh, why I got red onion instead of any onion. My, my onions that I have put in the refrigerator uh, freezer and uh, dehydrated are all white onions that we grew this year. So, uh, so I'm kind of glad that that didn't work out. I didn't have any fresh onion and I was able to get the red onion. So that worked out great. Thanks for watching. So I got out some uh, cheesecloth to put over this. Normally, I don't put anything because I normally don't have this horrible tin in here that's got rust in it. So I'm gonna put cheesecloth over it. So I guess any material probably would work too. I normally would use um, different lids, but I, my other lid is uh, the white metal, white tin or whatever, and it's not uh, rusted or anything on my other jar. This is the first time I've done this in this jar, and I want it to cover it, so I'm using cheesecloth. So there you go. So thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe.